Humanity has been the dominant power on Earth for just a few thousand years. However, we have become such an invasive species that we even started to change the world. 2.5 million years ago, the world experienced glaciers during the Ice Age. Lasting for more than 2 million years, this white sleep ended about 10,000 years ago. It was the age of man and the glaciers retreated to the high peaks and poles of the Earth. But humans were not going to leave the glaciers alone, just like the thousands of creatures they had exterminated. The 18th century industrial revolution and mechanization was undoubtedly a big step for humanity. The consumption of energy sources such as greenhouse gases, gasoline, coal, etc. used in this industrialization process produced a lot of carbon monoxide, which damaged the atmosphere. This damage, in a nutshell, was returning to us in the form of an increase in temperature. In the early years of industrialization, humanity did not pay much attention to this. However, at the point we reached 200 years later in this industrialization process, that continued to increase. It started to affect the world in an irreversible way. As we see in the news every summer, it is touted as this summer is the hottest summer in the world and temperature records are constantly being broken in various places. Well, let's come to the present day after telling the history of this business at length. The remaining glaciers in the world today make up an estimated 98% of the world's fresh water reserves. But don't think it's fresh water, because if the glaciers melt, it will mix with seawater. So it is not thought that humanity will be able to utilize the glaciers as fresh water to a large extent. Some experts say that all glaciers will melt within 5,000 years, while others think that the effects of global warming will be seen seriously within 40 to 50 years. But contrary to popular belief, not all of the world will be flooded. There is even some research about where in the world will be flooded. According to National Geographic's research, there will be noticeable changes in the map of the world by the year 2100. It is said that the waters will rise up to 230 feet, and coasts will be reshaped, and even some cities will be completely flooded. Cities in the United States such as Miami, New Orleans, and New York may be helpless in the face of rising waters and may be wiped off the map. In fact, many cities around the world will suffer the same fate in such a scenario. However, in addition to these cities, Three countries are expected to be erased from the world map – Belgium, Denmark, and the Netherlands. The Netherlands, which is already below sea level today, has taken this impending disaster seriously and has already started building huge embankments many kilometers long on its coastal parts. Of course, melting glaciers will not only affect people, the first to be affected will be animals living on the glaciers. Although glaciers may seem like vast, uninhabited white spaces, they are home to countless creatures such as penguins, polar bears, reindeer, polar foxes, polar owls, and even musk oxen. Even today, all these creatures are endangered as their habitats shrink. In a scenario where glaciers completely melt and disappear, these animals will be among the first ones to say goodbye to this world. But the real destruction will happen in the seas and oceans. With melting glaciers changing water temperatures and fresh water mixing with seawater, life in the seas is predicted to end completely. So there may not be a single living thing left in the seas or oceans. While the seas will cool down, opposite will be the case on land masses floating above water. Experts say that world temperature, which is currently 15 degrees Celsius on average, will rise up to 27 degrees Celsius, with disappearance of glaciers leading to massive desertification of land above water. In other words, many plant and tree species won't be able to keep up with this situation and will dry up. The vegetation of post-catastrophe world won't consist of tall bushy trees, but short shrubby little grasses instead. Then of course, it'll be the turn of today's herbivious creatures feeding on these grasses then carnivorous animals feeding on herbivorous creatures. In short, the world order and food chain will completely collapse. In fact, there's no such scenario as the world will completely flood and humanity will search for land, as everyone thinks. 
but it is certain that the world will become a much more uninhabitable place. But resulting famines could spell an end for humanity. At that time, when access to food and water would be very difficult, more than 95% of people are expected to die due to famine. In such situations, wars would probably be fought over water or food. So, can humanity at least meet its water needs with these salty waters? The answer for this question is yes. There's a lot of investments being made today for the desalination process of water, but this technology is extremely costly, so water won't be as cheap as it used to be. In short, humanity is still doing its own thing. It's a bit pessimistic, but every day we're moving towards an irreversible end. It shouldn't be forgotten that the Earth, which is estimated to be 4.5 billion years old, has been home to millions of living creatures during this time. But every living creature left this world when its time was up. We're not landlords of this planet, we're tenants like millions of other extinct species, and at this rate, the landlord is sure to kick us out one day. Although we realized this in the 2000s, Indian Chief Seattle realized what was going to happen in 1853 and summarized it in one sentence. When the last river runs dry, the last tree dies, the last fish dies, the white man will realize that money is inedible.